Hey guys, so a new hero Khalid has been released and I bet many of you guys are curious about this hero. I have been playing him since he was released and I'm going to share some tips that I learned while playing this hero. These are the builds. I think you can either build him as a full damage or hybrid build if your team doesn't have enough damage or more sustain if your team has other damage dealers. For the emblem, I would recommend either the assassin or the fighter emblem. Assassin for the full damage hybrid build and fire emblem for the sustain build. Since he was just released yesterday, some of this information might change in the future. So let's start with his passive. Kali doesn't use mana, just like many fighters. But instead of the mana bar, he has like a pedometer. When you walk, it will charge his bar and once it's full, he will gain extra movement speed and the next phase attack will deal a lot more damage. This white blade of Heptasy has a great synergy with his skills. Nothing to fear, but fear yourself. <laughs> His first skill deals damage to nearby enemies. Upon hitting an enemy, he can leap one time in the movement direction and this skill will be cast again. He can do it a maximum of 3 times. Each time he successfully casts this skill, the damage is increased by 20%. I would recommend maxing this skill first if you are planning to use the damage build. Khalid's second skill allows him to protect himself with the power of the quicksand. He will gain a lot of health back, and also it will charge his speedometer while doing this. Also it reduces the damage taken while he's in this position. The channeling is 4 seconds, but once he moves from this position, it will be cancelled, so he will have to stay still while channeling these skills. But it can also be interrupted by crowd control skill from the enemies. His ultimate summons a sandstorm and rushes toward a designated place gaining control immunity during the period. It deals damage to the enemies on the path and it will constantly push them. Upon arriving at the destination, it will deal a massive amount of damage to the enemies within the area and installing them for one second. You have
One thing that you have to get used to is when you are casting his first skill, you have to stop jumping or cast the ultimate at the perfect timing, right when he lands. It's similar to 1v1's one jump. When they are in the middle of the jump, they cannot cast a certain skill, like 1v1's one first skill and Khali's ultimate. When you cast his first skill, make sure it hits a target, or else you won't be able to use it continuously. Launch, attack. The sand will take <laughs> you have to get used to using hero lock mode with Khalid. Often time you'll have to lock the hero, so his passive doesn't get wasted on a tank or unwanted target. Don't underestimate how much his second skill can heal. If you build him with some tank items, he can really sustain a lot of damage while channeling the skill. And the good thing about this hero is, since he doesn't use mana, he almost never has to go back to base, because if he needs some health back, he can just simply cast his second skill. His damage is really great, especially in the early to middle game, but I noticed that in the late game, his damage seems to start to fall off by a lot. So I usually find myself carrying hard in the early game, but then in the late game, if my other damage dealer doesn't stop all their game, I find it extremely hard to end the match by myself. His ultimate is quite slow compared to other ultimate, such as Esmeralda ult and whatnot. It's quite easy to dodge if the target has good movement speed, so it's important to predict accurately the target's path, or else you will find yourself in a very unfarewell situation. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. Look at this dude! <laughs> Wait till you see the <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs>